The other day someone left a comment that they thought this was a donut. What if it is? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rianne, if you are new here. I uh, hope you'll stick around, I think we could be friends. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about some of my favorite vegan fashion brands. I'm gonna be doing clothing, footwear, also known as shoes, and bags. Bags and accessories, I guess. Everything I show you or mention will be linked and listed in the description box down below if you wanna check there, as well as links to any previous videos I've done featuring those brands so you can like see a bit more about them. I will go ahead and throw my social media up on the screen right now if you wanna follow me elsewhere too. And um, do I need to tell you anything else or should we, um, should we just look at some things? Okay, so starting with clothing, I do have some fully vegan brands and then it also has some honorable mentions of places that at least make it easy to shop vegan when it comes to clothing. So my number one, possibly my favorite, probably my favorite, is uh, Mia Coda. They are kind of loungewear, basics, activewear, kind of the things that I wear all the time. I did mention this on my Instagram stories the other day, but I often find that I am wearing head to toe Mia Coda. Not only is their line vegan, but they're also an ethically made and run company as well. So the prices on them are a little bit higher as with most all ethical brands. That is because they pay people a fair wage and they're also typically smaller brands too. So they're not able to kind of get that, um, what do you call it? when you like scale up how much stuff you're buying or making to make it cheaper. Don't remember the phrase, but anyway. So because they are ethically made, they also make things in smaller batches, which means there is typically less waste because they are kind of working through each small batch, making another small batch, instead of just kind of like guessing, making a massive batch of things, which has huge uh, waste that goes along with it. So you may find sometimes that they may not have your size in certain things, but they are always updating that. So definitely just check back or sign up for their mailing list. And speaking of waste, they also make little accessories like scrunchies and um, headbands out of the scraps from the other things that they make. So definitely if, like me, you like to... What did somebody say the other day on Instagram? That I live on the corner of cozy and cute. I, I can't think of anything better in life. If you like to live on that same corner with me, you probably will also like me a coda. Cozy, cute, <laughs> wonderful. The next brand clothing wise that I had to mention is Vote. They're kind of more known for their outer wear. They make a lot of winter coats and stuff like that. I have a couple of their jackets, super cute, very warm. They also have sweatshirts um, and a few other pieces on their site as well. Some of the materials they use are organic and recycled, I think. They have like a bunch of different awesome parts to this brand on top of being vegan. Again, they are gonna be more expensive, but certainly the coats at least are really made to last. I feel like a lot of thought has gone into them. So again, another slightly more expensive option, but they are, you know, vegan, ethically made. Very good. Very good people. Next up is ENA Apparel. You guys may remember I did, I think I've done two videos with them now maybe. Another brand that make really gorgeous, kind of luxurious active wear or lounge wear and some kind of like more basic essential items as well. Like they have some really beautiful sweatshirts, um, leggings that you can obviously wear to work out in or you can dress them up. And they have also just been really great to work with as well, the same as Miyakoda. And one cool little tidbit of information is it was I think during one of the videos I created for them that I mentioned that they just had one item left that had a, like a wool blend in one of the pieces and um, because so many of you commented on it or maybe contacted them, they actually just pulled the remaining few items that they had left in that piece so they could be fully um, vegan as far as their fabrics go. So uh, yeah, that is the power of contacting brands and letting them know what is important to you and just kind of like showing them the importance of it versus just you know, berating them. You know what I'm saying? The next one is Veganized World. I have posted a few times about them on my Instagram recently, I think. They have super comfy, cute t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies on there. That's where I got my like celery stalk one from. That's where I got my lentils t-shirt. I got my babe hoodie from them as well. I recently did a giveaway with them. So if you are vegan and you like puns, and comfy clothes, you might want to check out Veganized World. <laughs> and then similarly, I have another um, kind of like vegan, more outwardly vegan, <laughs> what am I saying? Another company I'd like to tell you about is um, plant-based clothing. Again, lots of more vegan or plant-based 
slogan t-shirts, um, hoodies and stuff like that. You probably have seen them on Instagram if you follow a lot of vegan bloggers and they did just come out with some really cute new pieces that I really love as well. I think I have posted one on my Instagram that I just put an oversized like long sleeve tee of theirs on with uh, knee high boots and um, yeah really cute stuff. By the way, uh, you know, vegan apparel, great gift idea for the vegan in your life because we like clothes too. And then I'm gonna round off, round off this category with two honorable mentions for the clothing category. They actually kind of encompass all of the categories. One is free people. That is where I get a lot of my tops from. Like if I want like cute different tops because I know I don't have to, but doing this job, like it is nice to have like different shirt options. So I'm not wearing the same shirt in every video. <laughs> And this one, for example, is from there, so I will link it down below. The reason I am mentioning free people is that they are really good at tagging or making the vegan items on there searchable. And they have a lot of like vegan leather, like vegan leather pants, leggings, vegan leather jackets, um, vegan leather shoes. And so I just really appreciate that they, although aren't a fully vegan company or they don't only carry vegan things, they do make it very easy to shop within that vegan category. And they also have some vegan like beauty and makeup items on there too. And that goes for a lot of sites. Like it's always worth just typing into the search of any online store, vegan. And um, if they've done <laughs> their job properly, all of the vegan things should come up. And I think it's important to show stores and brands that that means something to you that they are making it easier for vegans to shop there because it turns out vegans also have money that they want to give stores so definitely free people and then i also wanted to mention lulu's they have um they might be even better at talking about vegan things because i think they actually have a vegan label under their shoe categories so you can just shop by vegan shoes and again you can also type in vegan in the search bar too they have a lot of shoes they have some more affordable shoes which are great they have like vegan leather clothing i think both free people and lulu's have some like vegan faux fur options as well and i feel like lulu's more so than free people has a kind of better array of price points as well moving on to footwear the first brand i wanted to mention is koi footwear which i did mention on my instagram stories and has been one of the brands that i've looked into after a lot of you have said I can't afford the most ethically made items but I still want to buy vegan. So Koi Footwear is I think a UK based shoe <laughs> store. I do think they are just online, they are very affordable and they um, have a lot of kind of like more fashion items, a lot of more like trend driven items and they are I think PETA approved or like vegan society approved maybe definitely check out their site it has all of the information on there i believe they ship internationally like all over um <laughs> internationally and they just have a ton of different options they're always getting in new styles and again much more affordable so i did want to be sure to mention them another shoe brand i wanted to mention is native shoes i have some sneakers some boots and then more recently i picked up their winter boot which there's winter boots, right? And then there's winter boots. And that is what I need. I live in very northern Michigan where we don't get like winter boot weather. We get winter boot weather where like you gotta be able to walk on ice, okay? Anyway, I did pick up those new winter boots from them. They are <laughs> fantastic. They are soft inside, they are warm, they are waterproof. I can just wipe them off afterwards so like any salt stains or anything comes off. They grip well. They're super comfortable but they are fairly rigid so for me it's perfect because I can just like slide them on if I want to like run out to get the mail or take the dogs out quickly. I don't necessarily have to tie them up because my foot is going to stay in there whether I've tied them up or not. And I'm really happy with that purchase. I feel like they're gonna be a winter boot that will serve me for several years. I know a lot of you guys ask for kind of like winter vegan options because obviously it's hard with like leather, fur trim around hoods and stuff, down. Um, so definitely check out Native and I will link the specific winter boot that I have from them below because it is just, wow. I like to think that I like know when a winter boot is good. This is a good winter boot. Oh, but one thing I will say is that sizing can sometimes be a little bit weird on there. I know I have bought, I think I have two pairs of sneakers from them. One of them I had to size up and then the other one I bought my normal size and it was like perfect. And then for the winter boots, I did size up because something to do with their like UK, US conversion made me realize that I probably did need the next size up because I think I am truly a half size anyway. Be prepared that you may need to try on a couple different sizes to figure out what works for you. Yes. 
The next brand, and a relatively new one, is Hunted. Now, I mentioned before that I have a pair of their heels. They're just like chic, kind of like matte black pointed heel pumps. Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. Definitely wanted to mention them because they are a relatively new brand, I think, so they are gonna probably be releasing more things, so I definitely think they are one to watch. And I do like that their heels come in different size heel options. So maybe you really love the style, but you don't want like a super high heel. They have lower heel options as well. Okay, and then lastly in the shoe category is a brand that I don't know how to say their name. B, Hava, Behava, Bava, Bahava. I don't know. Anyway, they are another really gorgeous shoe line. They are incredibly made. I have their, I think I have the Ranger Hiker boot and it is just gorgeous. Like, just, just very chic. Like, if I saw someone wearing them, I'd be like, <laughs> and they have a slight point to the toe, which is just like, oh, you know, it's just different. And then I've also been lusting recently after the Fargo, I think it's the Fargo Tall Hiker. I saw it on their Instagram and was like, those are the most beautiful boots I've maybe ever seen. So I think the next pair that I may try and get are those because, um, <laughs> okay. Let's move on to bags. So another really obvious one, if you um, have spent any time on my channel before, Angela Roy. I don't know if I need to say anything, but if by some chance you've never heard me babble on about them before, they are a luxury, very high-end, very well-made handbag line. They also have some kind of smaller accessories as well. I have almost all of their designs. I do have a playlist that I have put all of my Angela Roy videos in, so I will link that down below if you want to check it out and see which styles you might like. I do show like the inside, how much you can fit in them and stuff like that. And I do currently have a discount code which expires December 15th. So you can use the code RIAN2018 for 15% off. I will have all of the information linked below. The discount code itself is not an affiliate one, but the link down there is, so do with that what you please. I have the Hamilton from them in a really beautiful shade and they just released it in black as well. I just felt like I needed to tell you that. It's beautiful. Oh, and I also get a lot of comments from people saying like, oh, Angela Roy don't ship internationally. There are a couple places that you can order their bags from that will ship internationally, Petibor being one of them, and I will link anything else I can find on that below. The next brand I need to tell you about is one I very recently did a haul video with, which is Urban Expressions. I do have a discount code for them as well. Again, everything will be linked and listed down below. You can sometimes find them at TJ Maxx, which, incidentally, was actually where I bought my first one of their bags from, which I have had for, I am not kidding, eight, probably closer to 10 years ago I bought that bag and I don't take very good care of my things and it is still mm, amazing. Anyway, they have a ton of different styles. They are always adding new ones and um, they kind of have like different price points. So maybe if Angela Roy is a little too expensive for you, definitely check out Urban Expressions. They still have really beautiful styles at a much lower price point. All right, and then lastly for this video, Matt and Nat. Matt and Nat not only have bags, but they do have shoes, and the shoes are really beautiful as well. They are another kind of higher end bag and accessories line, and other than the handbags, I do have a couple of really awesome items from them, one being the Zam Weekender. This bag is just full of surprises. There's like a little clothing bag in there, it folds up, there's tons of space, it is amazing. They have the cute little like jewelry box cube thing that was in my uh, gift guide that I put out not that long ago. And then I also have like really beautiful notepads and stuff as well. So although they do have handbags and shoes, they have a lot of other stuff um, and definitely some great gift options as well. So that my friends is it for this video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe, come back, I'd love to have you. Please do go ahead and let me know any of your favorite vegan brands or places that you would like to buy vegan items from in the comments down below, I will meet you down there. Again, all of my social media will be on the end screen to come and I will see you in my next video. Bye.